At 3.47 this morning, a woman's scream cut through the darkness in Patsuli, Italy. Maria Santoro stood barefoot in her garden, staring at a crack that had opened beneath her feet while she slept. Steam hissed from the fissure. The air burned with sulfur. When she knelt and placed her hand near the opening, the heat forced her back. This was not subsidence. This was not a water main. The crack sat directly above a magma chamber, holding the energy of 550 million nuclear bombs, a chamber that has been inflating beneath half a million people for two decades without stopping. Three hours later, seismographs across Europe lit up. Magnitude 4.6, the largest earthquake ever recorded at this supervolcano in modern history. Buildings cracked in Naples, alarms shrieked through the streets of Patsuli, and deep beneath the caldera, something that had been locked in place for 486 years began to move. Residents reported hearing it before they felt it, a groaning sound from inside the earth itself, low and continuous, like metal tearing in slow motion. Seismic data confirms this was not a random tremor. It was structural failure. The cap rock sealing the pressure below had fractured. Could this be the beginning of an eruption that buries southern Italy in ash and plunges Europe into volcanic winter? If the caldera collapses into the Bay of Naples, could a tsunami reach Sicily in eight minutes with zero time to evacuate? And why are scientists now admitting that the danger has been far greater than anyone knew? The answers lie hidden beneath the streets of Naples, inside a volcanic system that has already destroyed civilizations and may be preparing to do so again. Ground uplift has been accelerating for decades at Campi Flagere. Cracks have opened in roads and buildings, cold water transformed into scalding steam. But the most dangerous parallel is not in the data, it is in the history. In 1538, the same warning signs appeared before a violent explosion buried an entire village and built a new mountain in just eight days. Parish records from September 1538 describe darkness at noon, choking ash, and ground shaking so violent that homes split open. For weeks before the eruption, the land around Patsuli rose several meters, draining parts of the sea and revealing ancient Roman ruins. Residents felt tremors daily. Then, on September 29, the earth ruptured open. The eruption that followed was Friato Magmatic, a collision between rising magma and groundwater that unleashed explosive steam and ash. In less than a week, Monte Nuovo rose 123 meters from farmland, burying the thermal bath village of Tripergole so completely that its exact location can no longer be identified. 24 people died on the final day when they climbed the new cone to witness the spectacle and were caught in a sudden blast. What happened next was worse. Campi Fligere shows how fast a sleeping volcano can wake, sudden, violent, and with almost no time to escape. But Monte Nuovo was nothing compared to what this caldera has done before. 40,000 years ago, Campi Fligere produced the Companion Ignimbrite eruption, one of the largest explosive events Europe has witnessed in the past 200,000 years. The blast ejected between 250 and 300 cubic kilometers of material, more than 200 cubic kilometers of dense rock equivalent. Scientists classify it as a VEI-7 eruption, just one step below the maximum rating reserved for true supervolcanoes. The energy release was equivalent to 550 million Hiroshima bombs, Ash blanketed the Mediterranean and reached as far as Russia. The eruption column rose tens of kilometers into the stratosphere, injecting 450 million kilograms of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Temperatures across the northern hemisphere dropped by 2 to 4 degrees Celsius for 2 to 3 years. Crops failed, rivers froze. Archaeological evidence suggests entire populations disappeared from southern Italy and the eastern Mediterranean. The timing coincided with the arrival of anatomically modern humans in Europe and the final decline of Neanderthals. Whether the eruption caused their extinction remains debated among scientists, but the blast certainly accelerated the disappearance. Some researchers now speculate that the volcanic winter created by Campi Flagere may have been the final blow to populations already struggling with climate change and competition for resources. And the conditions that created that catastrophe are mirrored today. The caldera sits inflated with magma, the ground rises and slow pulses, 
and seismic swarms rattle Pozzuoli with increasing frequency. The system has not forgotten how to erupt. It is simply waiting for the right trigger. Campi Flegre is not Vesuvius. There is no towering cone, no obvious target for fear. Instead, the danger hides beneath a densely populated region west of Naples. The caldera stretches 13 kilometers wide, a collapsed crater formed by two cataclysmic eruptions. Its rim is barely noticeable except to geologists. More than 500,000 people live directly inside this volcanic giant, crowded into the red zone. Beyond that, over 3 million residents of the greater Naples metropolitan area work, shop, and raise families within reach of its destructive power. For 75 years, the caldera has cycled through inflation and deflation, a phenomenon called Brady Sizem. The ground rises slowly, sometimes by centimeters per month, then subsides again. Ancient Roman columns at the Macellum of Pozzuoli, once submerged beneath the sea, now stand above the waterline, lifted by decades of gradual uplift. The harbor at Pozzuoli has become too shallow for larger boats. Streets crack open. Buildings tilt. But today's activity is different. The magnitude 4.6 earthquake on May 20, 2024, was the largest recorded since the current cycle of unrest began in 2005. It damaged buildings, forced evacuations, and shattered the predictable pattern of smaller tremors. Dr. Mauro DeVito of the Vesuvius Observatory called it unprecedented in modern monitoring history. The quake originated at a depth of just 2.6 kilometers beneath the Solfatara crater, the same vent that produced the 1538 eruption. This was not a random event, it was a warning. Since 2005, the ground at Campi Flegre has risen 1.46 meters, with the fastest uplift concentrated near Rione Terra and Pozzuoli. The rate of inflation has accelerated dramatically. Between August 2024 and March 2025, the ground rose at approximately 10 millimeters per month. Then, in late February 2025, the rate tripled to 30 millimeters per month. This sudden acceleration preceded the March 13, 2025 magnitude 4.4 earthquake, another event that caused minor building damage and one injury. Carbon dioxide emissions from the Solfatara fumaroles have spiked to 4,500 tons per day, more than three times the output measured just a decade ago. The gas is not rising from deep magma. It is escaping from a shallow geothermal reservoir superheated to over 300 degrees Celsius. Hundreds of earthquakes rattle the caldera each month, with five events exceeding magnitude 3.0 recorded in a single week in February 2025. Yet new research published in 2025 suggests much of this unrest may be geothermal rather than directly magmatic. Scientists now debate whether Campi Flegre is approaching an eruption or simply venting pressure from a massive hydrothermal system. The uncertainty is part of the danger. No one knows which scenario is unfolding until it is too late. But what scientists do know is terrifying. Beneath Campi Flegre lies a layered system more complex than any simple magma chamber. At the base sits ancient basement rock. Above that, a gas-rich geothermal reservoir heated to extreme temperatures by magma far below. Above that, a weakening cap rock, the brittle crust that keeps the pressure contained. The system behaves like a pressure cooker. As heat and gas accumulate, the cap rock fractures, allowing steam and gas to escape through fumaroles and cracks. Steam-driven phreatic eruptions can occur without any magma reaching the surface, these explosions happen when superheated water flashes into steam, shattering rock and ejecting ash and debris. The danger is immediate and difficult to predict. Unlike magmatic eruptions, which often show clear precursors like fresh magma ascending through the crust, phreatic blasts can occur with little warning. The earthquakes weakening the cap rock are pushing the system closer to critical failure. Each tremor opens new fractures, creating pathways for fluids and gas to rise. 
The question is not whether the Caprock will fail, the question is when and how violently. And the discovery of a hidden fault makes the threat even worse. In 2025, researchers using artificial intelligence mapped thousands of microquakes invisible to standard seismic networks. The analysis revealed a ring-shaped fault structure encircling the entire caldera. This ring fault could act as a rapid conduit for fluids or magma, allowing pressure to concentrate along specific zones. The fault explains why earthquake swarms cluster in certain areas, and why new cracks and fumaroles appear without warning. If the ring fault activates fully, it could allow a sudden release of pressure across a wide area, triggering cascading failures throughout the caldera. The scenarios range from localized steam explosions to a catastrophic eruption involving fresh magma. Scientists cannot predict which path the system will follow. But the volcano is no longer acting alone. After the magnitude 4.6 earthquake at Campi Flegre, monitoring stations across the Mediterranean detected anomalies. Mount Etna in Sicily recorded a swarm of microquakes. Vesuvius showed unusual gas emissions from summit fumaroles. Seismic stations in Greece and Turkey registered faint tremors. The events may be coincidental, but volcanologists recognize a pattern. Stress transfer across tectonic boundaries can trigger sympathetic responses in volcanic systems hundreds of kilometers apart. The entire Campanian volcanic arc, from Ischia to Vesuvius to Campi Flegre, may be waking together. And the infrastructure is not ready. Naples International Airport sits within the projected ashfall zone. A major eruption could ground flights across southern Europe within hours. The port of Naples, one of the Mediterranean's busiest, handles critical oil shipments and grain imports. A shutdown would ripple through European trade networks. Power systems in Campania depend heavily on geothermal energy from the volcanic fields. Blackouts could last days or weeks if transmission infrastructure collapses. But the most immediate danger is not ash or lava. It is water. If the caldera collapses into the Bay of Pozzuoli, the displacement could generate a tsunami. Wave models predict arrival times of 8 minutes to Sicily, 15 minutes to Malta, and less than 20 minutes to North Africa. Coastal cities would have almost no time to evacuate. The waves would not be as large as those generated by offshore earthquakes, but in shallow bays and harbors, even a 2-meter surge can be catastrophic. And if the worst happens, the timeline moves faster than any evacuation plan. Fissures open across Pozzuoli at dawn. Steam and gas blast through neighborhoods, shattering windows and collapsing weakened structures. Within minutes, ash begins to fall, thick enough to kill engines and darken the sky. Evacuation highways buckle and liquefy as the ground shakes. Hospitals fill beyond capacity. The electrical grid shuts down across Campania. By midday, the coastline nearby collapses into the sea. The displacement generates a tsunami that races across the Bay of Naples. Malta and Sicily receive wave warnings, but there is no time. The surge hits coastal towns eight minutes after the collapse. Buildings flood. Harbors are destroyed. Within 24 hours, ashfall closes airports across Italy, France, and Spain. European airspace shuts down. Volcanic aerosols begin to spread across the stratosphere. Global temperatures start to drop. Food supply chains freeze. The disruption extends far beyond Italy. This is not science fiction. It is a plausible scenario based on the volcano's history and current activity. And scientists cannot predict when or if it will happen. Steam-driven eruptions give almost no warning. Critical degassing can flip from stable to explosive within hours. Standard forecasting models, designed for magmatic eruptions with clear precursors, fail in these conditions. Even the most advanced monitoring networks cannot see inside the pressure cooker. The system could vent harmlessly for decades, or it could explode tomorrow. The population at risk is staggering. More than 150,000 people live within 5 kilometers of the caldera center, Another 500,000 reside in the red zone, the area most likely to be devastated by pyroclastic flows or heavy ashfall. Beyond that, 800,000 more live in the yellow zone,
facing evacuation if activity escalates. Naples, Italy's third largest city, sits on the caldera's eastern edge. Official evacuation plans estimate 72 hours needed to move everyone to safety. But the volcano does not care about evacuation schedules. If the system fails suddenly, there will be minutes, not hours. Roads will clog, bridges will collapse, thousands will be trapped. And the monitoring systems are failing. The Vesuvius Observatory has escalated the alert status to yellow, indicating significant unrest. Satellites pass over Compi Flegrei every 12 minutes, measuring ground deformation with millimeter precision. Seismic sensors record data every second. In the past week alone, 227 earthquakes were detected. Artificial intelligence analysis has revealed 54,000 additional microquakes since 2022. Events too small for human analysts to notice, but significant in their cumulative effect. Yet several monitoring stations around the Solfatara crater went offline for weeks in early 2024, victims of geothermal damage and budget shortfalls. Critical data gaps appeared during periods of rapid change. Technicians worked frantically to restore coverage, but every hour offline was a gamble. The volcano does not stop because the instruments fail. And the experts are clear. We can measure what is happening. We cannot predict when. The eruption could begin in decades, or it could start tomorrow. The timeline depends on variables no one can measure. The exact temperature and pressure inside the geothermal reservoir, the strength of the cap rock, the pathways available for gas to escape. Scientists monitor every tremor, every gas release, every millimeter of uplift. But the volcano keeps its secrets until the moment it decides to act. Maria Santoro's cracked garden marks the epicenter of the current activity. The steam still rises from the fissure, carrying the smell of sulfur and the heat of the underworld. Her home sits directly above the zone where pressure is highest, where the cap rock is thinnest, where the next rupture is most likely to occur. The crack might be the first sign of catastrophe, or it might just be another tremor and a decades-long cycle of unrest. But it is undeniably a warning. The ground is speaking. The question is whether anyone will listen before it is too late. What would you do if the ground split beneath your home tonight? Would you evacuate immediately? Or would you trust the scientists who say an eruption might not come for decades? The people of Pozzuoli face that choice every day. And the volcano offers no answers. Over 500,000 people live atop a supervolcano whose last major eruption occurred 40,000 years ago. Recent seismic monitoring has confirmed a sharp rise in ground deformation, gas emissions, and earthquake frequency. Mineral deposits now encrust walls and floors in buildings near active humeroles. New research reveals magma is far closer to the surface than earlier models predicted. Despite advances in monitoring, scientists still cannot predict if or when a major eruption will occur. Many seismic stations have suffered outages during critical periods. The accelerating pattern of microquakes and the relentless invasion of volcanic materials into homes are documented facts. What remains unknown is the full timeline and ultimate scale of this crisis. The evidence is clear. Campi Flegre is not dormant, and the risks for the surrounding communities are immediate and real.